In this video, we'll look at finding oblique or slant asymptotes. Notice that the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 1. The degree of the top is 1 more than the bottom. That's what indicates we need to find the oblique asymptote. To do that, we need to use division. And typically, we want to use long division. But in this case, since the divisor, the bottom, is linear, we can use synthetic division. So we'll list the coefficients of the numerator, 1, 4, 1. And then in the box, we'll put the opposite of what we see here, 2. Then we drop down the first number. 2 times 1 is 2. Add, we get 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Add, and we get 13. Now remember that 13 is a remainder. Typically, we want zero remainders, but that's when we're finding zeros. We're not finding zeros here. We're finding the oblique asymptote. So really, all we care about is these first two. We're going to ignore the remainder. And if we translate that back into an expression, that is 1x plus 6. And all we need to do is put y equals in front of that, and we have the oblique asymptote. In our next example, again, we are finding the oblique or slant asymptote. Notice that the degree of the top is one more than the degree of the bottom. That's what indicates we need to find the oblique. We need to use long division this time. We can't use synthetic because the divisor, the denominator, is not linear. x squared minus 3x plus 5 is the divisor. And then inside the house, we have x cubed plus 2x squared plus 0x minus 1. Notice that we need a 0x, we need that 0 placeholder because we're missing an x in the numerator, in the dividend. And now we do the division. First term divided by first term. So x cubed divided by x squared, if you need to, we can do that off to the side. That gives us an x. So that goes up here. And then we distribute x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. x times 5 is 5x. And then we subtract that quantity. The first terms go away. Then we have 2 minus negative 3. That's 2 plus 3. That will give us 5x squared. Then we have 0 minus 5, that is minus 5x. Then we drop down the negative 1. And then we repeat the process. First term divided by first term. So if you want to, off to the side, 5x squared divided by x squared, that gives us 5. That goes up in the quotient. And we're basically done with what we need, but let's continue to distribute. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x. And then 5 times 5 is 25. We will then subtract. First two terms cancel. Negative 5 minus negative 15 is negative 5 plus 15, or 10x. Then negative 1 minus 25 is negative 26. But this is a remainder which we actually don't need. So all we use is the quotient, put y equals in front of that, and we now have the equation of the oblique asymptote or slant asymptote.